Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're going to look at Sierra Chart and how to actually place orders within Sierra Chart. There are a lot of different ways you can do that from using a dome or trading from your chart or other order entry windows. Today we're going to focus on the chart, but throughout some other videos we're going to go through things like trading through the dome and some more advanced features. So today we're just going to go over the basics. So let's take a look at my chart here. You can see I have uh, just a regular ES one minute chart, but of course the instrument and time frame don't matter. So you can use that across a variety of different instruments and time frames. So the first thing that we we'll want to do when actually uh, looking to place orders here on our chart anyways, we need to actually enable chart trading. So to do that, we're going to go to our toolbar here and we're going to access the trade tab. Now once I click on that, we have a lot of different options here and one of them is going to be the chart trade mode and we're going to turn that on. So I'm going to set, select that here and click it and then we'll see that we have that kind of added to our chart. You can see this kind of blue area here that lets us know that we do have chart trade mode on and that gives us some extra features. So uh, those extra features for our chart here are within our right mouse click menu. So if I right mouse click here, you'll see in addition to our regular uh, right mouse click menu, we have a secondary one. We have uh, our orders that we can actually place. So we can do that using uh, just kind of that right mouse click menu. So you can see we have different, different options, market orders, limit orders, stop orders, stop limit orders, we also have some options like cancel all and flatten and cancel and reverse and cancel. So for example, if I wanted to place an order here and we can, uh, for example, just use a market order, I can do that here. So I can select buy market and you'll see we did buy there and um, we have a, now have an order tab actually on our chart and you'll see it'll uh, actually uh, switch between red and green uh, depending on whether you are up on your trade or down on your trade and uh, that will kind of show up for us. So we can see that where we're in the market at, we can see kind of the change, uh, whether we're at a profit or a loss by using those colors here, whether it's red or green. But there are also some other options we can do. So now that we are actually in the market, for example, maybe I wanted to set up a uh, limit order just to kind of cover my position if it were to reach my target. So I can do that uh, just by right mouse clicking here. And you'll notice that I'm right mouse clicking right around the 1579 area here. And if I do that, I can set up a limit order. So for example, a sell limit order since we bought at market. So that sell limit order is now showing up for me and that's at that 1579 area. And I can move that just by uh, clicking and dragging here. So if I click and drag down a bit, we're now at the 1578 area. And you can see how easy that is, just a click and drag menu. Now there are also some other options here. If I were to actually click on this one button here, for example, I can use this menu to adjust the quantity and price. So I have the price here. If I didn't, uh, wasn't so accurate, maybe using that click and drag method, I could always uh, just use these plus or minus buttons here or actually type it in as well. So you see I click OK there and we're now back up to that 1579 area. The other option is quantity. So I can up the quantity if I wanted to. So maybe if I wanted to hit my target and then I thought it was going to head back downwards, I could maybe sell for uh, two contracts instead of just the one that I'm in. And I'll select OK. Now that's uh, for two uh, contracts, that sell limit order. Now if I wanted to cancel that, one way I could do that is to use that X button. So if I click that X button next to it, that order is canceled and out of the way now. Now I also want to show you some other options. So for example, if I click that sell limit again, but maybe I also want to have a uh, sell stop here. So I'll select a uh, sell stop and we'll, uh, we can uh, again adjust this or drag this anywhere we want to. So maybe if I wanted to have it right around this area, I could do that. We also have that same menu for quantity and price. But if I right mouse click here, you can see I have something called cancel all. Now this cancel all button is going to cancel all of my pending orders. So it's not going to affect my actual position. Uh, you can see my position is there, but it will affect these other orders like this stop order and this uh, limit order here because those are those pending orders. If I click cancel all, you'll see those pending orders are out of the way and now I just have my position. So I can view that and that's just kind of a quick way to do that. Now flatten and cancel will uh, also flatten out my position. So for example, if I was in a sell limit here and uh, maybe I had a sell stop as well, if I use that uh, flatten and cancel instead of just cancel all, it will flatten my position and cancel those pending orders for me. 
and you'll see that uh, all went away there. So I don't have those pending orders anymore. I'm not in an active position uh, that flattened my position and canceled all of my pending orders. So just kind of, kind of some quick buttons. And the reverse and cancel will do the same thing. So it will cancel those pending orders, but it will reverse your position. So if I was in a uh, long position, it will then cancel my pending orders and then go into a short position at market. So just some kind of uh, quick and handy buttons. Now, if you wanted a little bit more flexibility than what this right mouse click menu offers, you can absolutely do that. So we can access more options by selecting this trade button again. Now you'll notice we have a option for attach trade window to chart. So I'm gonna select that here. And what you'll notice here is that I get kind of an extra um, window right on my chart. So this allows me to set up some different options. Uh, for example, I can, uh, of course, have kind of these quick uh, buttons here, buy market, sell market, and we have uh, limit orders to the ask and bid as well. We also have those same uh, buttons like flatten, reverse, cancel all. And um, the other thing we can do here is we can actually set up attached orders. So attached orders, meaning uh, that we can set up kind of predetermined profit targets and stop losses. I'm not going to go into detail in this video for these, but we are going to have a separate video shortly. So stay tuned to our YouTube channel for that. But this uh, does offer some other options here. So we can set what kind of order we want to enter in using this drop down menu. So a market order, of course, uh, here, and you can set up things like quantity and the time and force. And so, for example, market order, of course, it will just go at market. If I wanted to set the limit, I can set the actual uh, limit price there. And we have a variety of different options. So anything from market if touched to chase orders. We also have OCO orders here as well. Uh, triggered step trail stops So really a lot of different options depending on your type of trading and what your preferences are. And of course, we can use these uh, other options here. So a stop, uh, I can set up my, my price there, uh, the quantity, and these are all available to you just using these drop down menus. And then of course you can use the buy sell buttons here at the bottom, uh, or of course these uh, orders as well if you want to just use these quick buttons instead of these uh, other kind of more in depth orders. Now also want to show you something kind of quick here. Um, you can also adjust your quantity just using these quick buttons and you can customize these buttons uh, and I'll show you how to do that in another video as well. So for example, if I wanted to uh, make it quickly eight eight contracts here then I can do that and then use one of these options here to get into an order uh, or five contracts four contracts and of course these are customizable so um, you can see if you wanted a little bit more control than just the regular uh, buttons here on our right mouse click menu you can use this trade window now what's also kind of cool about this trade window here is that you can det detach it so it doesn't have to be attached to your uh, trade window so I have that uh, and I use that option so it added it for us but if I uh, deselect that option it brings it up as a free floating window so I don't have to have it you know just on this side or docked on another side I can actually move it within my chart uh, so that's just another handy feature there uh, that you can have to have it actually kind of free float around and be able to customize that a little bit further. Well, thank you for viewing our video today. If you have any questions, please feel to post a comment or uh, send us a message or give us a call at our uh, Optimus uh, line here as well or uh, visit our website at www.optimusfutures.com. I'm going to go through some more advanced order settings here and options and things we can do like using the dome to enter orders as well as those attached orders as well to preset things like your stop loss and profit targets. So stay tuned to our channel. We hope you have a wonderful day.